Hey guys, it's Matt from Akuma Mods. Uh, I was just going to make this short little video. Um, I was asked to review this printer for a company. Um, I believe they're through JG Aurora. This is their new one called the JG Maker. Uh, basically, it is a Ender 3 size or GTEC A10 size printer. Uh, looks like it's a little bit smaller maybe on the build volume. But it is, uh, it says that it's 220, 220 by 250. Um, so I'm not 100% sure on that bed because it's, this is the under three mat that I put on here, the flex plate, and it's 235 by 235 and it fits just fine. So I don't know, maybe their, their stuff is wrong on their website or maybe I read something wrong. Not 100% sure on exactly what happened there, but. Basically, this is their new machine to show off, and uh, I wanted to give a quick little review about it and show it off on my, you know, disastrous work area. Um, as you can see, it's printing. Uh, it's printing pretty well. Uh, this is some really, really old filament uh, that's been sitting out. Uh, I believe it's 3D Hero filament, which some people have good luck with, some people don't. Um, but as you can see, it's coming out pretty nice. This is a... A print I got from Thingiverse. Uh, I'm not exactly sure uh, who the creator is, but uh, obviously that's his name, I would think. And uh, I'm printing this for a UV rev resin box um, to cure prints in. And uh, I figured, hey, this is a 27-hour print that's going to be going for a long time. So uh, right now we're at about 19, almost 20 hours in. So we're, we're going pretty strong. Uh, temps are perfectly fine. You know, they go up three, down three. Normal uh, fluctuation on a machine. Um, I did have a failure on this before, so I was a little worried that maybe the thermistor got attacked by the PLA that basically balled up inside. Um, but it looks like it's, it's doing okay right now. It does fluctuate a little bit, but it's nothing that'll uh, trigger a, a thermal runaway, and it hasn't yet, so... Obviously, we're 19 hours in without it, so. Um, basic construction is uh, very similar to Ender 3. Uh, you get to put together your entire uh, gantry system. Uh, what is that? The Y, I believe. I, I always forget the name, X, Y, Z. I, I know Z. That's about the only one I know of. Um, but, yeah, you basically put together your gantry, uh, level it. Then you put your bar uh, for the Z heights onto the actual printer. And uh, this is kind of nice because it's got a nicer uh, unit uh, for the enclosure. So it definitely looks a lot nicer than either the GTEC A10 or the Ender 3 or whatever similar type printer. So it is a, a nicer looking one. Um, I did have a little bit of an issue with the belt. So I tied that up with uh, this little adjustment pulley. That's kind of nice that they have that. Um, it does look like it is a... Uh, a molded part, not a printed part, even though it does kind of look printed. Uh, some of the nice things about this is it does have a filament runout sensor. It does work. Obviously, we got our garbage extruder uh, that usually comes with the you know uh, standard printers. Um, hot ends, pretty good. Uh, looks like just your standard style MK8 hot end. Uh, Bowden tube fittings are really really nice. They're actually metal teeth fittings. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty much the install went well. Uh, I'd have to say it was probably maybe 40 minutes from out of box to printing, and I was just kind of doing it leisurely. Um, seems like a lot of people are going with the GTEC route and putting a all-in-one hot end uh, for everything. So I'm sure you know maybe you'll see a BL touch for this or some sort of, sort of auto leveling down the road possibly. Um, wire management is kind of nice. It's got the, the braided lines. Uh, I, I like that style uh, over the, uh, the wrap. Um, but other than that, it, it's a great machine. Uh, I want to say they're about $214 at the moment. So right in the price range of the GTEC A10 and the Ender 3. Um, so it is definitely a good competitor. Uh, it is a little more loud than the Ender 3, I would say, in some aspects. Um, what is nice is it doesn't run on an extrusion rail. As you guys can see, it runs on actual linear, or no, I'm sorry, uh, rails. 
Um, so there are bearings on there, and uh, when I first unboxed it, it was quite loud, but uh, once we got the belt tightened up properly and everything, that, that all sorted itself out. So uh, that was about my only worry about the entire thing. And uh, other than that, it, it's, it's looking pretty good. Uh, let's see what version of Marlin this thing is running, if we can. Uh, yeah, we can't when it's running. Oh, well. Anyway, it looks like it's a fairly new version because it does have the X, Y, and Z where it's... Uh, it tries to find it so it's definitely a 1.18 or newer version of marlin uh, but yeah if, if you're looking for another uh placement between the ender and the a10 this is definitely a good uh good replacement uh i will say that it does feel really really cheap when you're putting it together but once it's all together it is a nice solid machine uh and you know i was expecting this to be very very vibrate -y. Uh, especially on my wood and uh, the uh, big uprights that I have here. They do vibrate a lot. Uh, but, you know, other than what you guys are hearing over my voice, it's pretty much as loud as it's getting. So, very, very nice machine. I'm, I'm, uh, I was actually uh, taken back on it. I, I thought it was going to be a really, really cheap build, but... Uh, Ended up being a pretty straightforward Ender style build, and uh, you know, it's like I said, it's it's printing very well. As you can see, there are some uh, discolorization in the lines, but like I said, that that filament, uh, the 3D Hero filament, has been sitting out for God probably almost a year now. Uh, you know, going in and out of packages and whatnot. So. I'm surprised it's even printing that right now. So that just shows you how good of a printer this really is. Um, it, it can definitely uh, go through some really, really old rolls that are probably not that great. So, and we're we're at normal temps, 215. So, not too bad of a printer. So, figured I'd give you guys that little video uh, about this. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it and, you know, maybe add that to your thinking list of possible printers to to get into 3d printing because this is uh this is definitely one of the nicer looking ones out of the the ender 3 and gtech a10 i definitely will say that so other than that it's a pretty good printer so you guys choose you decide i know there's not much following behind this printer and there's not really much out there but uh yeah um you choose what you want to. Till then, happy modding, happy printing, and enjoy your time.